In this video, I will be talking about rebuilding a custom application. First, I'll talk about factors involved in making the decision. Then I will talk about the rapid design method and give examples of documents you can use. I'll end with some thoughts about development tools. The first thing you should consider is whether the application can be replaced with off-the-shelf software. It's possible that since the application was written, a commercial application for doing that job has been created. Buying a commercial application will be cheaper than rebuilding a custom application. Some years ago I was called in by a clinic that needed to replace their homemade system for scheduling doctors and nurses. They had discussed this project with another vendor who had recommended building a new custom system. When I heard about the project I thought, this must be a common problem and there must be commercial software for doing this. I wrote up some simple use cases covering the most important features and went out to locate and test potential replacements. Ultimately, I found a very good off-the-shelf program for doing this. It turned out that the parent organization already had licenses to use it. The next possibility is that you may find an off-the-shelf application that does most of what you need. In this case, you can think about extending the functionality of the application by building a bolt-on piece for it. A bolt-on piece is a small application that adds functionality without changing the code of the off-the-shelf application. It will probably have some screens, some data, and some reports, and it will connect to the back end of the commercial application. Modifying OTS software is one thing you want to avoid if possible. This was very common in the past, but these days there is so much good software out there that it's rarely necessary. It can be foolish to modify software because then you lose vendor support and the ability to upgrade. The modifications may add features that are never used or features that add little value if they are used. The modifications can be very expensive and usually increase the time it takes to implement the system. If you don't find an OTS solution, you should still think hard before you commit to completely rebuilding the existing application. Building software is expensive, and even a small departmental application can cost a lot of money. You will likely spend tens of thousands of dollars, and six-figure budgets are not uncommon. What are some good reasons for rebuilding software? Dying technology can be one good reason. For instance, COBOL got a lot of attention during the run-up to Y2K, but the fact is that most of the skilled COBOL programmers are long gone. I suspect that many companies that lived on COBOL systems for decades have replaced those systems just because they couldn't support them any longer. I know of one large institution where most of their mainframe people have been there 20 to 30 years. It's not clear how those people will be replaced. In 2001, I worked on a situation where a company had some mission-critical applications running on a DOS PC using DBase. They were afraid that one day the PC would die and that the applications would die with it. Although DBase, the product, was still in existence, most companies had, by then, migrated to Microsoft Office. This meant that finding a programmer to do the work would be difficult. Like an old car, the cost of maintaining a program can come to exceed the cost of replacing it. You may be dealing with a system that is so convoluted that it's hard for programmers to find the cause of bugs. It may be so poorly designed that it's very difficult to enhance. It may use so many technologies that it's hard to find the people with the necessary skill set. I think this may turn out to be a problem with many current generation websites. The rapid growth of the web has resulted in a wild proliferation of technology on many sites. In the next version of these sites, reducing the number of technologies may be an important goal. Another good reason is a significant change in the business requirements. You may need to accommodate a large increase in the number of users. Your users may need access from outside the firewall as well as inside. The tools for the existing application may not be able to create the desired functionality. For instance, in the DBase example I mentioned, the customer wanted to combine Access, Excel, and Word functionality in the new system.